Hi folks, welcome to Sea Airspace. Held near Washington DC, it is the largest naval defense exposition in the US with over 400 exhibitors for this 2019 edition. Unmanned systems is a big talking point this year as the US Navy is looking to gain new capabilities thanks to autonomous vehicles in the air, on the surface and underwater. So the MQ-25 is our newest unmanned systems that we're just starting. There will be an unmanned carrier aviation vehicle that will allow us to, uh, to give fuel in the air. It's a very, very efficient airframe, which means it can fly a long way, it can stay airborne a long time, and because of that, it can give a lot of gas as well. Because it, unlike a fighter aircraft that can be used as a tanker, it doesn't burn a lot of gas just to stay airborne. The primary mission is to refuel aircraft. We need to get the, uh, the life strain off of our fighter aircraft we're using as a tanker today. So for that reason, uh, that is number one for us. Now it will have a, an ISR suite, but that's not a focus area for us. It's designed to fly off our U.S. Navy aircraft carriers, wherever the carrier goes. So we have just awarded our contract several months ago. Um, we have a test asset that was constructed as part of our competition. And that test asset is going to fly later this year. We don't know exactly when we'll go to the carrier. Uh, it will be no later than 2023, but we're looking for opportunities to accelerate that. IOC will be as soon as possible. Our CNO has made that very, very clear. It will be no later than 2024, but I expect it will be even sooner than that. PMS 406 is bringing forward a portfolio of unmanned undersea systems, or UUVs, and unmanned surface vehicles, or USVs. And those cross a number of size categories that we've identified for each of those, from extra large UUVs down to small and medium UUVs, and large USVs down to medium and small USVs as well. The large USV is a recent acceleration by the Navy to procure um, large optionally unmanned USVs for employment as part of our future surface combatant force architecture that the Navy is developing uh, across the, the portfolio. Those large USVs are intended to team with manned assets um, and extend our capacity and our capability um, as we uh, prepare to fight in a near-peer environment. ORCA is our extra-large UUV program in the family of UUVs effort. It is a large, high-endurance, modular UUV to bring a variety of payloads into um, areas that we might not otherwise be able to access due to a number of reasons. So again, it's, ex it's intended to expand our capacity and our capability um, in the maritime domain. We just completed our phase one of the program, which is our design effort. We completed critical design reviews of a competitive uh, design effort just last year and we've recently awarded five extra-large UUV vehicles to the Boeing Corporation. Those vehicles will start fabrication now and will begin to take delivery of them in late 2020 and those will continue through 2022. We'll take those vehicles uh, through a rigorous contractor and government-led testing program to discover and develop their capabilities prior to fielding them. So we've received a lot of interest both within the U.S. and outside the U.S. for this portfolio of UU, UUVs and USVs that we're developing. Um, so we're talking to our um, international partners to discover their interests and see where um, we can leverage each other's efforts because there's a lot of actual international development you know, by other nations as well. But then we're also talking within the Navy as to what our policies will be in terms of sharing this technology with international partners. Larry, what do we have here? We have a, uh, a medium USV design that we've developed down in Mobile to, uh, to respond to the Navy's MUSV solicitation. We've got, uh, this is one of two designs. 
Uh, we've developed both a catamaran and a trimaran solution um, in that medium size, you know, about 50 meter um, size uh, that we are pretty excited about, quite frankly. We, uh, we think it leverages all the, uh, all the expertise we have in high speed aluminum multi-hull designs and we've, we've redesigned it, or we've designed this from the keel up to be optimized for unmanned operations or autonomous operations. And as you can see, we've got plenty of room to accommodate containers or mission packages. Um, it's fairly lightweight, high speed, so it can cover a lot of ground. Uh, what's, uh, what's driving the requirements in terms of design for those platforms? Um, for the medium USV, the, uh, the requirements that most influenced our design are the, uh, the range, the sea state, and the payload capability. The, um, the minimum requirement is a 40-foot container or a 40-foot and two 20-foot containers. So we basically took those requirements and developed an optimal platform around that. So. And I believe uh, you submitted a proposal for the large USV RFI as well? We submitted a response for the large uh, USV, an, an RFI response that uh, laid out, the Navy asked a series of questions and, you know, as they're developing their design and, or their requirements. And uh, we provided a response that um, we think provided them a pretty good capability. Again, it's a catamaran based on the, um, on the existing EPF. So all those lessons learned, all that learning we've taken and, and, and accommodated the Navy's requirements with some growth margin included. So, uh, What's next for Allstall in terms of unmanned platforms? Well, we're going to uh, we're going to win medium and then we'll win large and then we'll see what else the Navy wants. But uh, All right. And then we'll market it internationally and come to a show in your part of the town. So. All right. Thank you very much, Larry. The USV behind me is the Common Unmanned Surface Vehicle, and it is part of the U.S. Navy's Unmanned Influence Sweep System Program and Mine Countermeasure USV Program. It's designed to be modular, so specifically designed to fit and deploy from the littoral combat ship, both variants, the Independence and the Freedom class, as well as vessels of opportunity, such as the USNS John Glenn or other uh, vessels. Uh, it can also be operated from a pier side or from shore, so it is modular in nature. So this year we're showcasing uh, a payload uh, specifically designed for surface warfare. So you see a remote weapon station as well as a vertical launched Hellfire canister. Uh, that system is being demonstrated in a variety of uh, exercises to include a force protection Antex uh, later this fall. The official programmer record that we're performing under, which is the mine countermeasure and the UISS program. So on the UISS program, we are in developmental testing and uh, should complete that this quarter, moving into a milestone C decision followed by low rate production. On the mine countermeasure, we are actively integrating both uh, the Q20 and Q24 side scan sonars uh, into the craft. And those will be uh, starting to perform underway testing later this year. We are so showcasing uh, some of the projects that we have done and deployed. Okay, at the same time, um, how we basically concentrate these uh, autonomous sensors and its intelligence into a modular unit, as you can see here. Okay, so we have compartmentalized the technology, right, into a sensor kit. At the same time, payload and a platform. We have experiences up to 16 meter autonomous uh, vehicle platform. Right, but uh, the technology that we are developing is not limited to a 60-meter platform. Yes, in fact, uh, you know we are also prospecting larger platforms, right, uh, to be able to fit all these autonomous and sensors. Do you are suddenly very excited about the U.S. Navy roadmap, and in fact, um, you know the solutions that we have been testing is in one of the busiest uh, transshipment hub in the world. Right, so we have been you know, doing this uh, navigational intelligence technology for more than about, close to about 10 years. Right? And uh, we actually play in a very obstacle dense environment. Right? So corex, uh, collision encounters, well, is something you know, we encounter every day. 